Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have a sneak peek from Diamond Art Club to share with you. This diamond painting is called Witch's Brew by Bridget Ashwood. It's a round drill diamond painting and it's a 55.8 by 70.6 centimeter or 22 by 28 inch. This is so pretty, y'all. We're gonna look at a better picture here in just a moment, but there's moths, there's books, there's tea, there's Celtic knots, like I'm Triscolls, I'm here for it. So welcome to all of you who may not have been here before and welcome back to everybody else. I hope that you're all having a wonderful week so far. I'm very excited to get into this kit to share with you. When they offered it to me to sneak peek, I was like, yes, please. So I'm just gonna pop that to the side there and show you what's inside. So we always get this little sticker that you can use in your journal or on the box. I like to put it on the box. We also have a tool kit. Uh, the brown drill tool kits do not come with tweezers. They have diamond painting pen with a single placer. We have a bag of baggies. We have a cover minder. We have our drill tray here holding everything. And this is a little stopper to keep the diamonds from falling out. Got some washi tape for the edges or to section your diamond painting. There's two multi-placer tips for the other end of your pen and a pen grip here as well. Did I mention there's two plates of heart-shaped wax here, which you put into the pen to pick up your diamonds. <clears throat> I know some of you out there do use the tweezers for round drills, but I find the pen a little bit more manageable for myself. We're all different and it's all good. But each and every toolkit has a different color scheme and it might not be exactly the same for this particular kit. So just keep that in mind when you make a purchase. So let's get into the canvas and diamonds. Happy Friday. Ooh, the diamonds just fell right out. Take this off. Inside here, we're gonna have some papers. The canvas is super duper soft. It is made of this tarpaulin, soft, velveteen kind of backing, which is so nice to get a diamond paint on. We've got a thank you and a how to diamond paint booklet. And as always, if you need visual instructions, I do have a how to, how to diamond paint playlist linked up above. Then we have our inventory sheet. This tells you how many colors. There's 67 colors. The whole sheet is filled out. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. This is definitely a contender for a uh, Drills and Chills canvas for me. Let's look at this picture a little closer. Beautiful. I wonder, can you hear the wind in the background? My apologies. I have a little gap in the window. We're trying to fix it. Um, so in this kit, we've got two AB diamonds, Aurora Borealis, and then down here we have fairy dust diamonds. So it's going to be really interesting to see where those go on the canvas. Here's our drills. This is definitely my color palette. I love working with pinks and purples and blues. So right up my alley. <laughs> Let me know what your favorite color to diamond paint is in the comments. I'd love to know. I know some people are like me and they love purples and then there's other people that like adore red. I think that red is a really fun shade to diamond paint as well. Or does it not matter? That's okay too. If you don't mind the color, that is probably a good thing. <laughs> So what I like to do is roll it backwards so that we can see it lying flat on the surface. And I can feel that this has that new perforated cover that you can use to section the diamond painting. Do you see how it's got the little perforation here? That's up to you if you want to use it. It is double sided so you can not worry about getting it stuck and then it not coming back up again. Wow, this is really pretty. I knew it would be pretty, but it's even more pretty in person. Try to take the glare off a little bit. I love the background. It's It looks like it's gonna be really fun to actually diamond paint. There's areas of color blocking 
there and there's not that much confetti in this piece. So we have our mug of tea that's shaped like a cauldron, very cute. We have these beautiful books and these moths. Oh my gosh, look at that lunar moth. <gasps> so pretty. And I just, I love all of the Irish symbolism. It's gorgeous. Very, very pretty. Oh, let me show you up close here some of the symbols. Easy to read, super easy to read. I don't think you'll have any trouble. And if you do find that you're having trouble, my advice is to pick the symbol that you can see clearest first when you look at an area and then keep doing that. You don't have to go in order, like number order or anything like that if you don't want to. Because sometimes I know that it can be difficult if certain symbols are put together in the same area. Oh, I just noticed that there's a heart here. Oh, that's so cute. And just as a note, because I know someone's gonna say it, if you don't want the word spellcraft there, you could fill them in with a solid color or you could write whatever you want in this space as long as it would fit. That would be fun to customize it that way, wouldn't it? So you can feel free to skip ahead through this part if you like, and I will show you where the specialty diamonds go after we look at the colors. Here we go, we have 154, there's two bags, 550, 939, 3371, we've got three bags, three big bags, 3834, 310, there's two bags, 3837, 3740, 336, 208, 327, 552, 824, 813, 3808, and our first fairy dust, Z3747. So the fairy dust has a little bit of glitter on the top of the drills. I think you can see that shimmer. It's a very dark and dreary day, so I do apologize if you can't see that. I'm looking at it from an angle, so I'm not sure. But the, the glitter gives this shimmer of a blue color just on the top. Just, just a faint little touch of glitter and color. Next up, I've got 341, 803, 6012. 3607, 553, 992, 993, 6011. And if you were wondering, yes, they did come up with the 6000 range to add to the DMC range so that we'd have more shades of colors. Z747, this is another fairy dust diamond, and it's also a blue hue shift on the top. 938, we've got 333, 141, this is our first AB. And this one, we call it AB Aurora Borealis because it has this iridescent coating on the top and it looks just like the Northern Lights. We've got 814, 809, 825, 915, 561, 718, 155, 340, 930, 815, 3807, 3328, 210, 3857, 798. Here's our second AB, 124. It is a pink AB and it is gorgeous. Very pretty and bright. 3861, 6032. So many colors in this one. 452, 3778, 6031, 3830, 6010. Here's another fairy dust, Z 3766. This is blue with a silver on the top. That's very clear to see. We've also got 729, 304, 414, 676, 
another fairy dust z3746 this is purple <gasps> it's purple on purple it looks a little silver in the camera but it's actually purple on the top and that is gorgeous like it's just reflecting my camera my filming light 826 30 347 301 758 580 732, 224, 638, 18. So let's go and look, see where those go on the canvas. Alrighty, so I've had a, a look over the canvas because a couple of the colors were a little hard for me to find at first, but let's get into it. So number one is that pink AB, and you might have guessed it is in the flower. So this flower in particular in the lighter areas has some there's a, a one dot right here as well and then we have a little bit in the lunar moth and here in the oops, sorry here in the bottom book right there we have the 141 AB which is the white AB and that is in the brightest white spots everywhere on the canvas so there's a couple dots in this butterfly. There's some here in this knot, in the tea bag, in this butterfly's wings, and in the smoke coming up. Then we have fairy dust diamonds. Our first one is the letter C, which is a light blue, and that is in and around all of the smoke here. It's in the knot in the middle. We've got some here in this kind of uh, moonstone, maybe, in this book right here as well, and along these wings for this moth. We've got the purple one, which is the hardest one for me to find. The, uh, the purple is in this moth. We've got a little bit... Oh dear, here in the knot here as well. And there is a little bit just up here on the cauldron. And if you find any more, let me know. <laughs> We've got the percent sign, which is another light AB that is also in all the smoke. We've got it here in this moth or butterfly. We've got it also here in this. We've got it in a lot of places, all the way around this uh, title of the book and in this little bit over here. It's a lot of this book. This book is very confetti heavy and there is a lot of fairy dust in this particular book. Then we have the last fairy dust diamond, which is a triangle. There's two different triangles, but they're very different colors on the canvas. It is a bright cyan color. So it's right here in this moth. And then if we come up, 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 it is right here in this butterfly and on the side of this knot. It's so pretty. <laughs> it's so pretty, y'all. I really like this kit. It's. It looks like it'll be a lot of fun to diamond paint as well. And it is kind of a large one, but it is very doable, if that makes sense. Most of the hard work is going to be in the center. So if you're one of those people that likes to do the easy parts first, I would recommend going around the border and getting that done first. But I just love the designs on the books. I think that the butterflies and the flowers and everything, the moths, everything just works so well together. This will be available tomorrow, third, uh, Saturday, the 25th of February, and uh, let me know if you're going to add it to your wish list. I would love to know. It'll be available, and I'll have the details in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend, and I will see you all in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye!